Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and this right here is the newly designed Ospi Tropos backpack. It replaces the older version right over here. In this video, I'll tell you about all of the changes and hopefully I'll help you decide if uh, upgrading from the old backpack to the new backpack is gonna be right for you, or if you're just gonna be shopping around for a travel backpack or a just a larger EDC backpack, if this bag is gonna be right for you or not. For sizing reference, I'm about 5'8 in height and about 188 pounds. The three main features which make this backpack quite attractive to a lot of people is number one, it has a built-in kickstand so it stands up on its own. The second thing which I really do like about it is it has this airspeed back mesh panel which just, it's super comfortable on your backpack and your back never gets sweaty. And the third thing is that it's just extremely lightweight. Even though it's a larger backpack, it's pretty light and you can just toss around and it's just something just, just so simple and easy to use. Anyways, let's dive into the 27 things that you need to know about this bag. So number one, let's talk about the size. This bag, the older bag is 34 liters. The new one is 32 liters in size. Uh, it's the same height, it's the same width. The only difference is you're gonna notice it into the overall uh, depth of the bag. So this one, I think when I measured out, is around 10 inches um, in terms of depth. This one's about nine inches. So you lose about one inch. And um, I actually don't mind that at all because I remember when I was using this bag and, and when you fill it up, it gets quite big. Uh, and when you're kind of turning around, you could easily bump things. So having a, you know, a slightly slimmer frame or body, um, it's, it's something that I, I look forward to. Number two, let's talk about the material. So in, in the old backpack, it's the same nylon material throughout the bag, where the, whether it's on the bottom, the, the middle, or the top. However, the uh, new backpack has three different types of material. It's got this 210D honeycomb recycled nylon um, at the top right here. Uh, in the middle though, uh, right around here, uh, that's just a, another other recycled nylon. And then on the bottom, it's actually a completely different fabric. It is a 600D polyester. Uh, and that's great because it gives the bottom a, a little bit more of a durable um, uh, base. So that's definitely an upgrade compared to the old backpack. Number three, the front stash pocket. So unfortunately, I think this one's a downgrade, but the old one, I really, really love this front stash pocket because it just has this zipper that you can just kind of unzip and you know grab whatever else you want. It's got a little uh, vestibule right here so that you know the stuff won't kind of, or a little gusset so the things won't fall out. Uh, and you can actually unvelcro it out if you really, really need to access it. You can unvelcro it and really, really just kind of access and see all of your contents easily. So I really, really like that from the old backpack however the new one uh, completely different it's just one large kind of stretchy stash pocket and the other thing is is it is see-through so if you're gonna be throwing things in here you're gonna see that junk uh, like for example I throw in like my wet wipes or hand sanitizer stuff and you see all that junk just you know piled in the front right here so they should have made it so that it wasn't see-through uh, the other thing I really didn't like about it is that um, these compression straps, which I'll talk about later, uh, or actually I'll talk about right now. The other, the compression straps on this one, you could hide away and you don't even have to use them. However, on this new Tropos, you do need to use them because if you unbuckle the compression straps, like so, they are actually connected to that front stash pocket and they're gonna essentially, it's everything's just gonna kind of spill out or leak out and it's gonna be very, very loose. So you will have to do these compression straps, um, you know, all the time. Uh, yeah, so on the old one, it, you can actually tuck away and hide those compression straps up here, which is a cool thing. However, on the new one, they are not. They're just kind of looped through here, and you do essentially gotta you know, keep them connected so that front stash pocket stays in place. Number four, the bike light or bike reflector strip. Um, they've simplified it and just kind of made it one simple strip that you can kind of click it or clip it through here. Um, the old one was, uh, you kind of had to kind of feed it through this little loop right here. So definitely the new one's gonna be easier for you to clip on. Number five, the sunglasses pocket. Um, I feel like this is an upgrade. In the old backpack, it was kind of weird because the um, uh, right after the stash pocket, you actually have to ac access your front accessory pocket and then your sunglasses is kind of like the set pocket behind it. Whereas for this backpack, um, the sunglasses pocket is right at the front right here, which I do like and I feel like it makes more sense. Number six, they did change the interior fabric of the sunglasses compartment. 
it's not a upgrade or anything i just just wanted to let you know that it's different so right here in the old one it is some kind of like honeycomb type nylon material uh on the new one though it is uh they made it a little bit more softer a little bit more like a um microfiber material not exactly microfiber but it's more it's something a little bit more similar to that so number seven, the opening for that sunglasses zippered pocket is actually uh, smaller on the new one. Uh, the old one was approximately eight inches wide, whereas the new one is only about seven inches. Um, even though it is smaller, you can still access your sunglasses or small accessories. So I wouldn't say it's a huge downgrade or anything like that. Number eight, I talked about it before, but those compression straps at the top, um, they're not hidden anymore. So this top one, like the, the buckle is hidden behind this flap. Uh, and then the other one's hidden behind this little th um, pocket right here. Whereas the, uh, this new one is exposed here and it's exposed here. Um, so yeah, it's just there. Number nine, the bottom compression strap is actually a little bit higher on this bag. Um, it's close just to the top of the water bottle pocket. Uh, compared to the old one, which is kind of uh, in the middle of it. So I actually kind of like it how it's going to be at the top because it really, really kind of cinches it. So things don't tend to move around as much. So number 10, they actually added a little bit of reinforcement to the bottom of the water bottle pocket, as you can tell right here. Uh, the old one didn't have this kind of uh, fabric material right here, but it'll be great because if you throw in a tripod foot or something that could potentially pierce through this kind of stretchy material, um, I, feel like, I feel like that's a great upgrade. And yes, a 32 ounce water bottle does fit into both sides. Number 11, to access that admin pocket right here in the front of the bag, it actually has two dual zippers right now, whereas the old one only had one. Number 12, so for that pocket that I just opened up, this is actually a little bit wider right now. Uh, so you get a little bit more space for your admin section. Uh, this is increased from about, I think, 9.5 inches to about 10.5 inches. Number 13, they added a security zip pocket right here at the top. So this is gonna be great if you had cash, passport, uh, anything of value you can stow in here. The other one did not have that. Number 14, they actually improved the front organizer. They made it so it's two larger stretchable pockets with grab tabs uh, and two pen pockets. Whereas for the old one, it was kind of like, you know, two kind of small ones, which you can't even fit your fingers into and one kind of medium to large-ish pocket. So it, it definitely this one is a lot more usable compared to the old one. The front pocket is the same, so it kind of goes all the way down to the bottom. So you can definitely fit a uh, smaller light jacket or any kind of um, smaller, thinner items into this front section of the backpack. So number 15, the storm flap that covers over top of the main zipper has increased. Uh, it's about half a centimeter larger, which is great because it's going to cover, um, have a higher chance of, uh, you know, covering that zipper so rain does not get into your bag. Number 16, once you kind of open up that main compartment, uh, on the old one, it actually had a document sleeve on the inside. However, this one does not have anything at all. It's just one big, massive open space. Number 17, the kickstand of the new backpack is much better and also the, the, overall, the overall frame of it. Um, as you can tell, it stands up more upright and straight up so it won't flop you know, backwards or, or forwards, whereas the old one kind of tend to lean backwards and uh, depending on what your weight distribution, it had a tendency to kind of fall backwards. Number 18, the laptop compartment at the back of the backpack uh, now has two zippers, whereas the old one only had one. Number 19, they have reconfigured the laptop area. On the old one, it was just, you know, one big open space um, and large enough to, for you to fit a 17 inch laptop plus a zippered area, which you could fit in a, a tablet. However, for this new one, um, it is, they've added actually two dividers in there. So the one would actually be for your documents, one would be for your tablet, and then the other area would just be for your laptop. Same, you can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. Uh, and both of them are suspended at the bottom of it. So you don't have to worry about dropping your laptop uh, onto the bottom. Number 20, they did improve on the hydration port. Uh, so where you would have your uh, your tube run out from. Uh, previously, they had it at the top and it, it wasn't the, there wasn't enough fabric to kind of cover. So rain could have actually got into your laptop like laptop area. Um, however, this one, they've changed it. So they moved it to the back of the bag as opposed to the top. And they've made it so that they've uh, had much more fabric to cover it. So there's less of a chance of rain and moisture entering in through that laptop compartment. 
Number 21, the load lifter straps. They've actually made it a little bit more narrow and they've actually shortened the strap. Uh, I feel like it's an upgrade because I, I, for the old one, it was just too much strap that it was kind of like dangling around. Um, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a huge upgrade, but it's a slight upgrade. Number 22, let's talk about the straps. Uh, unfortunately, on the new backpack, they are a little bit thinner and less cushy compared to the old backpack. It is the same width though. Uh, the one great thing about the new one though is you can tell that there is, uh, they've improved on the air ventilation. There's some ventilation holes that you can kind of see through this mesh uh, and that's just gonna you know, uh, make it so that it's much more breathable and less sweaty on your shoulders. Number 23, they've actually added a horizontal accessory strip onto the strap. And that's gonna be great because if you wanna hang your sunglasses or if you wanna hang a walkie talkie or a pouch, you could totally do it here. Whereas on the old bag, um, they did have a horizontal strap, but it was a little bit higher up. So you couldn't really access it um, on the top of the shoulders. Number 24, they still have the built-in whistle. Number 25, the waist belt strap remains unchanged um, and is also removable. Um, however, the kind of padding just uh, on the side right here has increased. It's it's more it's much more substantial compared to the other one, which is just feels like just a, you know a piece of fabric. Um, however, they have decreased the overall width of it. I mean, from from one point to the other point. The, I think they've decreased it by one inch. Uh, and these flappy things, um, they kind of they, if, you, they, if they're not sitting right, they kind of dig into your back. So you always have to kind of flip them out. So is this an upgrade or a downgrade? It's, it's I, I don't know, for me, it's kind of annoying. It, it, honestly, it's annoying and these ones never got really in the way. So I kind of preferred the old method more than I did the new method. Number 26, the Airspeed Mesh Back Panel. It is amazing. It is definitely a game cha changer, especially on those hot summer days because your back does not get sweaty at all. Um, I really like it and it's actually extremely comfortable. Anyway, so what did change? Uh, the only thing that really changed is that they've actually added extra padding onto the sides of this. Uh, and I think it's a great upgrade. And also they've, on the back back part, uh, you know, they made it all black as opposed to having these kind of white lines on them. Lastly, number 27, the top grab handle. On the new one, it has decreased from one inch from the old one to three quarters of an inch width. Um, it's not a huge difference. Uh, it's still comfortable, it's still easy to grab. Um, so I wouldn't say it's a huge downgrade. It's a little downgrade, but it's uh, not a big one. Anyways, overall, this is a fantastic travel backpack as well as a larger EDC bag. And um, I'm happy I got it. I, I really enjoyed the uh, upgrades um, and the changes, except for this one main front pocket right here. Uh, Osprey, if you are listening, you need to change that back. I really dislike this and I, I hate how I have to use the top compression straps and I have to open them up every single time I need to unzip the bag and really access it. That's, I feel like that's kind of like a, a flaw. But other than that, uh, it's a great bag. Uh, and But stay tuned because soon I will be doing a direct comparison uh, between the Tropos and the Parsec, which is pretty much the smaller, slimmer brother. That's a 26 liter versus a 32 liter. Um, I'll be doing the comparison soon on those bags. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe. And definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.